Welcome back. Um, it's been a somber uh, mood here, all for the course. And uh, our incredible guest, Lucy, is brave enough to share her very devastating story. She survived it all, defilement, ran away and took off from FGM, domestic violence. And guess what? She chose to become a hero and she is doing it. As, as she heals, she's also healing others. And we can't do much but applaud her here on the nest because it's just incredible how people should be told and reminded no matter what you go through, you have to rise out of it. But we always need help like the one, our special, special guest who is our expert of the day will take us through in terms of you know the mental and psychological effects of such things. But before that, please introduce yourself to our people. Yeah, thank you, Maureen. Well, my name is Julius Gitari. I'm a cancer psychologist with the Kenya Association of Professional Association, Association of Professional Counselors, <laughs> and uh, I'm in charge of the training department. Yes, it's yes. always lovely to have you. <laughs> thank you, you with your big smile. <laughs> thank you. I wonder if you ever have moments like us, like Ukuku <laughs> Harubika. Let me take a breather. You know, it's a, 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 you know, on a light note, you know, they say a doctor has to see a doctor. Yes. <laughs> so I, do, you, do you see I always, yourself? Or? I always go for regular supervision oh, yes. to avoid the cancerous yes. burnout. Yes. That's uh, what gives me the stay power. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Otherwise, the, 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 the emotional drainage is too much. Yes. So without that, yes. I also uh, crumble down. Absolutely. Yes. You're human at the end of Very. the day. Very, yes, and I know yes. because I feel it every time I do my interviews, I go home so drained. Mm. I can only imagine for someone like you because there's an expectation to fix, and, and it's not an overnight. Are unrealistic. Yes, yes. <laughs> unrealistic. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm sure you've heard of Lucy's incredible story. Correct. From a young girl, mm. she just looks like a fighter, sure. and she's been a fighter. She's still very young. But uh, it's unfortunate about what uh, she went through, sure. uh, defilement by uh, a My person uncle. she could have trusted as a father figure, yes. having lost her dad, mm. uh, and then now dealing with it. And she explained of her coping mechanism, and one of them was defiance, whereby she was saying, I couldn't listen to anyone. And then the other one was finding love, mm. which is always like, you know, you never know what it is, because no one teaches you. Sure. And in her case, it's very special, because she didn't get that motherly love, love. fatherly love, right, going through domestic violence. And then here we are with this amazing lady saying, look, as I heal, yes. I will carry everybody with me, sure. both men and women who are going through close to what I went through or even worse. Right. So um, jumping right into it, um, what happens when a person just looks at a child? And when I say, when we're discussing this issue, I want us to think of both the boy and the girl, because I'm a mother of boys and I've been aware of the fact that boys are not immune to defilement or rather to sexual assault. Correct. And it scares me mm. so much. And sometimes I even wish I didn't know, but every time I'm like suspicious, like, why are you looking at my child like that, you know? And, and, and it's just a motherly instinct. And sure. again, uh, in, in law school, we came across all these issues, and it's so unfortunate. But psychologically, let's talk about the, uh, the person who, 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 the defender. What goes through such a person's mind? Thank you, Madam Maureen, for this gesture. Yes. And uh, before I go to that, I want first of all to congratulate Lucy. Yeah. She's a true heroine. She is. Thank <laughs> and, you. Uh, she is. I want to appreciate her and congratulate her. Yes. For that unfading beauty of our hearts, yes. that even the midst of those turmoils, mm. that she still come out as a very unique and yeah. a special yeah. advocate yes. to talk about this uh, yes. taboo yes. thing, yes. which has been casually accepted as a, a normal way of life. You know? So, mm -hmm. and uh, also coming from the culture whereby FGM is part of the person of our cultural right, identity. Right. 
then definitely I want to congratulate her. She has done exploits. Congratulations. Yes. And I wish you success even in your endeavor as you continue to make noise. Let us make noise yes. like the motto of NTSA. Yes. yes. <laughs> and we'll and we'll be here to support you. Yes. And Thank you, don't Marie. shut up. Do not. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And um, actually this is not about the case of Maureen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she's just an exceptional. Yes. Be not Maureen uh, Arun was gone through this. Yes. Uh, sorry, not uh, uh, sorry, Lucy Arun Lucy. was gone through yes, this. Yes, sorry yes. for that. It's okay. Uh many ladies have gone through the and thin. Yeah. They have been battered and butchered by life circumstances at the mercy of our very innocent uh, protectors, Imagine. like you are putting them. Yes. And uh, actually, people who, who defile yes. the young children, because defilement is for young children True. and not his lip. Rip, yes, so yes. people who defile yes. these innocent uh, children, yeah. like uh, Lucy at the age of six mm -hmm. years, uh, these are people whom you cannot suspect. Because they are thing. too close, close to the yes. child. Yes. These are the people that even the mother cannot yeah. even think. It's true. That's uh, even a thought yeah. of defining a child can come to their mind. Yeah. They are the most trusted people ever. Yeah. And that's now when whatever they do is a betrayal of the highest yeah. level. Yeah. Now, as for the case of uh, Lucy, mm -hmm. uh, three challenges have been uh, are picked from now the story mm -hmm. that uh, she has undergone a significant loss of losing dad. Yeah. The protective, the protective figure, figure yes. and uh, the mentor, yes. the social security, the coach, yeah. and everything yeah. to her. Yeah. And uh, being a girl, mm. you know, and, uh, the, the dad and the girl, yeah. whatever They're relationship. Very, very good friends, yeah. yes. Now, mm -hmm. that's, she has undergone through a significant loss in her life mm -hmm. that she require help. Mm. And I appreciate that she has started the healing journey. Right. Actually, those tears are not a symbol of weakness. They're yes. the indicator of the healing yes. process. Yes. The value yes. of tears. Yes. She has started the journey, which yes. is very important. Yes. Number two, she has been traumatized. Yeah. Is a very strong, a very big wound she has gone through, mm. which is both the physical and psychological. Yes. And so they capture, they capture now the emotional dimension that I'm coming to mm. talk about. Mm -hmm. And number three, also, she has also made herself jabby from the fire pan to, pan to the fire because uh, of now the domestic violence she has gone through. True. This compound now everything. Yes. And uh, it become a very, very challenging thing. But uh, in, the st uh, in her story, in her narration, yeah. I've captured also something like a psycho. Yes. Her mom yes. ran off, yes. ran away from the marriage. Yes. yes. Similarly, she also took off mm. when uh, she was put in a corner where she could not remove herself. True. So she, in the in the healing process, she required to be handled in all those dimensions. Yes. And so now maybe let's let's talk about now somebody who has be, become a victim of this kind of a situation. Mm. Now, uh, beginning with the now the rape, that's the the, the, the defilement. Mm -hmm. And the defilement first and foremost, what it has done, it has that it it it, it, it shattered her into pieces. Yeah. First of all, uh, mm. she could not be able to voice it out. Mm. Why? Mm. This is a confident. Yes. She could not. Yeah. Number two is a taboo topic. Yeah. Number three, uh, <coughs> where she's, uh, number three, where she's coming from, the culture. She doesn't have a say. After all, she's a woman. She's a woman. She's a woman. Yeah, and the threat of silence. Yes. Yeah. And so as a result, she mm. uh, I won't thank God that she has not even developed depression mm. and she has also not committed suicide. I won't thank God wow. for uh, I'm being, uh, having some of that kind yeah. of yeah. So this has shattered her future completely. Mm. It is this flower which mm -hmm. has been eaten by the worm mm. and at the same time somebody come and they cut Snips the banding yeah. and they mutated it. Yeah. But the beauty is that the three star, yeah. the, 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 the trunk has not been uprooted. Yes. This is the trunk now we are seeing I here. Agree. And it's good now to be a very very sprouting yes, trunk. Yes. So in terms of the psychological devastation, mm -hmm. uh, when somebody has gone through that, there is this kind of a sense of dispersonalization. Sometimes I don't know whether she has reached a point of feeling whether am I really uh, the one or it is somebody else. These things are mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a mm -hmm. point of uh, depersonalization. Mm -hmm. There is also the aspect of uh, 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 being sometimes uh, because of what happened. She can develop a state of the, of uh, don't care. Mm -hmm. This don't care now make her to be very promiscuous. Mm -hmm. I let me put promiscuous in yeah. quotes. Yeah. 
because now mm -hmm. wash has gone through mm -hmm. and there is somebody who can also engage into uh, alcohol and the drug abuse as a way of learning from this psychological pain mm -hmm. so she get the best counselor who is mm -hmm. drug and mm -hmm. substance abuse to, uh, to escape mechanism. to yes. escape yes. but remember escaping is also being the problem yes and if she never got also a helper yes. sleep disturbances at the end of the day oh, yeah. uh, like it, 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 it disorders like yes. anorexia nervosa or bulimia nervosa yeah. can yeah. be a challenge for a kids mm. and it's also is now developing the male chauvinism no man appeal to her it's true. <laughs> men are worse than the devil in hell yeah. so yeah. that is male chauvinism mm. and uh, i hope that is not the reason she has come up with this kind of an organization because mm -hmm. it can be a psychological reaction mm. to the pain she went through mm -hmm. but uh, with the journey of the healing process that she's through mm -hmm. she overcome it and uh, become a good advocate yeah. so she can hate men Van Gogh, she didn't develop the hatred for men because she, she, she got married. Yeah. So that yeah. dimension mm. has shook up so much, so strong enough. Yeah. I want to congratulate her. Yes. And uh, similarly, now her future, mm. uh, if she has progressed academically and mm. she has performed very well, yeah. is the favor of God, is the grace of God, not because yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. somebody gets devastated in all those dimensions, mm -hmm. and as a result now, they become careless, sometimes mm -hmm. they develop depression, sometimes mm -hmm. uh, they, 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 they become very, very irritable, mm -hmm. and many times, every time they see this, the, 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 the image of a man, it takes them, it, they flash, uh, they, they flashes back, it takes them down. Somebody was happy all of a sudden. They, it's like a ball that has been deflated mm -hmm. of the energy. Mm -hmm. And then they say, is it this, that is it with the draw? Mm -hmm. Become socially with the drone. And that being alone again is not something very, 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 very good. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want to appreciate the Lucy mm -hmm. because if she was able to voice it out, is uh, uh, it is the mind that has found itself. Yeah. And it's very, 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 very important. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is a lady who can also have a lot of problems in marriage. Not because the spouse is bad, but because every time even the spouse wants to become intimate, mm -hmm. the mind goes mm -hmm. back to the perpetrator. Mm -hmm. And this can even cause conditions like uh, vaginismus mm -hmm. by, by, mm -hmm. because she can't function mm -hmm. uh, uh, sexually well yeah. because of this, the injury she has gone through. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and then the problem with that, with the Africa is that when something like that happened, when she developed a condition like vaginismus, we don't want to understand is a psychological condition. We want to attach witchcraft to it. Even man by Akamote. Nakuna Akamote is just a, the, our, her mental composition, mm. which is uh, not functional because mm. of the injury she has gone through. Mm -hmm. So it they can also make her to be a very, very brutal spouse in the relationship. Mm. Uh, she loses just quarrels from nothing. Mm. There, there's no apparent cause, mm -hmm. but she always gets a reason mm -hmm. for quarrels. So okay. they can bring a challenge. Okay. And maybe some, yeah. something, uh, maybe to wrap up that bef uh, mm -hmm. before maybe, mm -hmm. is uh, this issue about now the, ma uh, the, the, the mom taking off because also the, the marriage was not very, very, very productive. There is a challenge. When somebody has gone through the, the kind of a, 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 a situation to also start attracting other scavengers, that the spouse you get mm -hmm. is also somebody, uh, you get attracted to the same dysfunctional people. Because now, like the spouse she landed to, he also started now doing exactly what was happening to her mom. Mm -hmm. So it become now a cycle, mm -hmm. a cycle. Mm -hmm. And so intervention is very, 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 very important. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, I hear you and uh, I can see the connection of the trauma mm -hmm. and the reactions yes. uh, that a person will partake. Correct. Should, um, for instance, the coping mechanism, mm -hmm. and I could hear a lot of things that uh, Lucy was mentioning, isolating herself. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we didn't go into the details of her ex-partner. Uh, but uh, you see, is, does any of this sound familiar? Like, are there things you're like, hey, that was me, that was me? Uh, you know, even for your own recognition, because sometimes you be, we don't forgive ourselves and we label ourselves thinking there's something wrong with us. But in reality, um, it, sometimes it's good to hear that it's normal to have reacted the way you reacted towards some circumstances. Did, did any of that sound familiar? Yeah, it is. It's, yes. It is. Uh -huh. Because I remember even when I was in marriage, yes. there were times I didn't want to talk to my partner. Yes. 
I would even go silent for a week without oh, no reason. Right, right. Yeah, and mm. I would even cry. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Each and every morning I wake up, especially when I was now pregnant, oh, yeah, I wake up and start crying. Yes. And then after he has gone to work, mm -hmm. I'm okay. Right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, other things mm -hmm. he has talked about, actually I went into depression. Mm -hmm. I had to use antidepressants. Mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. one thing that made me to come out, I remember there is a time I mm -hmm. almost killed my kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I don't know, I felt that they were making noise for me yeah, and yeah. then I started, like I was yeah. strangling them and then yeah. a neighbor had to rescue them yes. and then that's when I realized yes. I was not so okay wrong, yeah. uh, and I had issues yes. with uh, sleeping mm, up to mm, now, mm. I have, I've not uh, like, oh, to naturally yeah. fall asleep, uh, yeah. 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 I yeah. usually have a pattern. Uh -huh. Once I interfere with it, I can't sleep. Ah, yeah. I see. Yeah. yeah. Even when I, uh, I go to sleep, uh -huh. I have to either switch off my phone okay. or put it away. Yes. Because if someone calls me and they had only slept for 30 that's minutes, the end. that's <laughs> the end night, until yes. the following day. Right. Yeah. right. And another thing, mm -hmm. I felt uh, that was not okay with me mm -hmm. when I have just small like stress. Yes. I obey it. Yes, 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 yes. It, it, coping. It, it, it's yeah. all coping. Yes. Right. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. those are some of the things. And then mm -hmm. there are times that I felt you now before I started this healing journey. Mm -hmm. There's a time where I felt like you now I didn't want to even to have mm -hmm. male friends yes. near me. Yes, I yes. felt like uh, mm -hmm. they were the problems true, in true, all true. the things that we go through. Yes, yes. Yeah. But now that is changing. Yes. Yeah. And I didn't like attending social events. It's right. not that I'm trying to do that. Yeah. I used to, I want to stay alone yeah. in, with my kids yeah. in yeah. the house. I don't want to associate with people. Right. And then I was a social media addict. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Something I'm trying to, 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 yes. to, to overcome. Yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. I will spend even 20 hours yeah. <laughs> on yeah. social media. Yeah. I just wanted to see yeah. what people are talking about, but I don't yes. want to be in real it, life. It, yes. I don't want to associate I, with I, people. I understand. You wanted something to attach yourself on mm -hmm. without really showing up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. And uh, again, I'm taking a few things out of this. Mm, and uh, some of the things I'm taking out of it is, I think even when we are marrying our spouses, when we are dating, and this also goes to you young people, uh, if you feel like someone is irrational, they're acting a certain way, one of the things I think we need to normalize is asking questions. Um, did, has anything ever happened to you as a child that you feel you're still dealing with? Um, and uh, we cannot self-diagnose, but mm. it's good to be aware. And anyway, that's why we have a show like this, so that we can hear from an expert like you, we can hear from a survivor like Lucy, and also, even someone at home would think, oh, wait a minute, maybe my wife could have gone through something and uh, maybe that's why she acts the way she does. And the truth of the matter is, a lot of our childhood traumas, whether it's uh, extreme, horrible cases like mm. Lucy's or that abandonment or uh, rejection, it manifests itself in future. I know because I, 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 I went through uh, abandonment and uh, I found myself also attracting uh, the kind of people who were exactly like the person who abandoned me. And until I dealt with it, everything turned around and it's, the change begins with you. And what you're doing, Lucy, is so incredible. Your life will literally never be the same. And um, now it's good uh, to also, uh, maybe this is going to be our last aspect, and I think it's a very important conversation, yes. which I've been trying to really get you to touch on. But uh, Lucy, may I ask, how, uh, how old are your babies? Our one is uh, almost 11 years, and oh. the other one is turning in October 7 years. Oh, lovely. Boy, girl, girls, Both boys. girls. Both girls. Yes. I, I, I want to know your mental status every time you're with them. And what kind of a mother you've been realizing that these are girls like the girl I was um, years ago? Have you do you have 
do you struggle with the fear of somebody doing the same thing to them? Yes. Mm. Uh, before now I came out to yes. talk about this, mm -hmm. I think I was a toxic mom mm. to them. That's something I usually admit. Yes. The way even I was shouting mm -hmm. to them, mm -hmm. and maybe I maybe didn't realize. Yes. Something that uh, right now I'm mm -hmm. seeing with mm -hmm. my firstborn, because maybe yes. she picked it from me. Yes. Yeah, she's, there's some moments that I feel she's shouting to her mm. young sister. Yes, and yes, that's yes. now something I'm trying to correct. Yes. And something she picked from me when I was ill, ah, I was stressed, yes. I would shout mm. to her. Mm. Yeah, and I'm overprotective. Yes, yes. It's something that mm -hmm. when I'm around, yeah. I don't want them to go away yes. somewhere that they cannot <laughs> you, see them. You cannot control the circumstances. Yeah, I have to watch their every move. Yes. Yeah, I, I think I'm very overprotective yes. with my kids. Yes. I don't allow them to go yeah. somewhere that uh, yeah. I'm not sure where they are going. Right. If they are going somewhere, then someone that's... I trust. Right. Yeah, I don't think like I trust Anybody. male, yeah. <laughs> male people to, to be, be around, around my kids, kids. Yeah. especially yes. at that delicate age. Yeah, because like your youngest is around the same time. Mm -hmm. yeah, this unfortunate circumstances happened. Yeah. So uh, because we're about to wrap up, uh, maybe um, you can just in two minutes tell us. Uh, ideally, as parents, what we should watch out for, what we should tell our children so that they're able, in case anything happens. Because I can tell you, I've, I started a long time ago and I've told my boys nobody should touch them in various places yes, yes. and we revisit every week. Uh, has anyone touched you here? You know, you need, you need to tell mommy in case anything happens and all that. And uh, in as much as I can build that wall, there are times, many hours a day, I'm not with them. When they're picked up by the school van, when they're in that school, when they go to visit their friends. But I think there's the aspect of empowerment. So I don't know what I'm doing the right thing, but I'd love to know what are the things we should tell our kids so that a little girl like um, little Lucy or little Lexi like mine uh, will be like, um, you know, like ch child language. What can we tell them so that they're able to communicate with us parents or the caregivers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Maureen. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, again, I still want to appreciate Lucy. Yes. And uh, maybe to let my uh, my sister Lucy yes. to know also, mm -hmm. overprotection is not parenting. Mm. It's not the right way of parenting. Yes. Because you're only addressing your need for mm -hmm. mistrust that mm -hmm. you're having. Mm -hmm. uh, what is there mm -hmm. is that uh, parenting is supposed to be 50 50 sharing, mm -hmm. so the spouse needs to be engaged in this. Mm -hmm. uh, now, for the young children, mm -hmm. Uh, remember they are different from us in terms of communication mm. so they don't have enough language to express to themselves, express themselves. So mm -hmm. one way to uh, and they are really modeling a lot from us mm -hmm. one way to be able to communicate to them is first of all in the house to have an open dialogue the house should not be a military camp and together, mm -hmm. remember, it's only the parents, the yeah. children are objects. Have the voice, there yeah. must be freedom yes. uh, to for the children to hear their views. Mm -hmm. And as they are hearing their, their views, mm -hmm. you perceive their views as an adult speaker to you. Mm. That's another league mate, another age mate speaker to you. So True. don't see them as children. Mm. And for them to tell you, you should be on the same level so yeah. you don't stand yeah. anybody who is bigger than a child that's a giant needs to go, go down. down it's true if possible kneel down, down yes. when you're at their level they're yes. able to read with you very well true. then create time mm. because uh, and today because we are your career spouse mm. is to us mm. we don't have quantity time yeah. what we have is quality mm. time at yeah. least have a, about that minutes with your children that's yes. more than enough yes. that minutes and during that time mm -hmm. if they are young mm. Do even body search, mm. do body investigation. What we go, we are also a party at So sure. do a body search, especially yeah. when they are very, very young. Yeah. <coughs> then uh, don't shout at the children. True. Don't shout. Mm. And this print mm. is derived from the Latin one disciple, mm. which means the learning through instructions. Yes. Uh, children are learning through instructions. Mm. So don't shout. Mm. If the station between the spouse and the wife. Mm. Don't bring it mm. in the presence of the children. Yes. Wait for the children to sleep, yeah. then you can and now can jump on one another if, right. you have, if you are the jumping yeah. type. So safe space. Safe space. Yes. Then uh, watch their play mm. uh, because uh, 
now that they can talk with you, they mm. only, always pray with the toys. Mm. Watch when they are praying with the toys. Like uh, mm. if this a child who is uh, picking the the, 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 the doll mm. family mm -hmm. and is speaking to one doll family that uh, you are pinch your ears, mm. you need to know that that is exactly what, what the environment they are, they are, is talking yes. to her. Yes. They are now acting. True. See the kind of prayer they are engaged in. Mm. When you see a child probably mm -hmm. with your traveling bag, they, 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 they are opening it and entering inside. Mm. They are telling that I, I saw a dead person in a coffin. That's mm. why they are demonstrating that. Mm. See the act mm. and then uh, also allow them to have, a, if they can be able to draw. To, to, to draw. Yes. See them, give them a piece of paper, yes. let them draw. Yeah. And let them explain to you yeah, what, what it the, is. the what it depicts mm. because that's the language for the children. Yes, they are together. Agree 100%, and whatever yeah. they tell you, trust. Mm, true. Whatever they tell you, trust because yes. they are the expert of their life. Yes, and they're very innocent, so they don't have the capacity to make up things. Perfect. Yes. So if we do that, yes. then if things, if we cannot be able to address that kind of a situation, mm. then also let us seek uh, expert uh, help. Uh, help. Exactly. Over and above all, mm -hmm. our house helps. Mm -hmm. When they come, before we hand them over the house to give our children, mm -hmm. we need to do that uh, orientation. True. Actually, some, you know, someday they are coming on Sunday and mm -hmm. on Monday is supposed to be in the yeah, office at 7. To, to work, yeah. So you didn't get time for orientation. True. Our house helps need to be orientated. Mm -hmm. Then also let the children know that at least uh, the only person with access to their body yes. uh, is only the mom mm. uh, is only the mom actually mm. it's the only mom, the mom yeah, true yeah because yeah. some fathers yeah. are also yeah. suffering from pedo uh, uh, from paraphilic yeah. disorders it's eh? true. is the mom mm. and this mom shouldn't be such a, a, a trusted mom mm. that even when you learn the secret from the children mm. you're not going to reveal it to the to the um, public because even children have got their own uh, image to protect of, of so protection. when you do that yes. things will be okay yeah and uh also remove that aspect of uh, being uh, an authoritative, authoritative character figure. in the family. Yeah. Be yeah. And when the dad is tough, mm. let the mom become. When yeah. the mom is the disciplinarian of the family, yeah. the dad becomes so that when they strap yes. from one of the parents, they yes. can get security in the other. Instead yes. of getting the security yeah. from the neighborhood, yes. then also learn about your neighbors. Mm. Know the neighbor because sometimes we, we are almost entering the same door, but we don't know, know your neighborhood, yeah. know their children, mm. and know how they are doing with their with your children. Yes. When they visit your house, don't mm. say that thieves have come here. No, welcome yeah. them. Yeah. Uh, uh, receive them very well. Mm. They they might tell you secrets which you don't know about your child. I agree. Yes, I agree. Thank Good you neighborhood so much. Is very important. Absolutely. Yeah. And anyway, uh, the community raises the children. Sure. And uh, I think that's such amazing wisdom uh, because it's instilling the empowerment. Sure. Uh, so lastly, Lucy, where can people find you, and what's the name of your organization? Uh, uh, I am. All about social media, yes. Instagram, and Facebook. Mm -hmm. I use Lucy Waisiko. Okay. And uh, also the name of my organization mm -hmm. back in Megori County yes. is called Me for Her Empowerment. Me for Her Empowerment. Me for Her Empowerment. Okay. It is, uh, I have a page on Facebook. Okay. Also, I'm in another organization here in, in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. When I'm not in Korea, mm -hmm. I'm here mm -hmm. participating with mm -hmm. the one in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. It's called the Ruka mm -hmm. uh, Initiative. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, they can get me through maybe yeah, people sure, who want sure. to yes. to book an appointment with me yes. or someone yes. has an issue who wants to talk about their, they yes. have gone through the yes. same thing with me. Yes. They can reach me mm -hmm. through 07-1556-3772. That's the number that they can reach. When you can say it again? Well, one more Zero seven. One five five six three seven seven two. Wonderful. Yes. Great. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, yeah. Thank you for this. My heart has been thumping. I didn't realize how much everything took a toll on me because I'm also speaking as a parent. I'm speaking as a woman in the society who has a voice and every time I sit here, even when I interview my guests, I'm also learning. I learn a lot. And thank you so much for honoring us with your presence. Welcome. Great. Uh, so guys, you hear, I think I cannot add any more. In terms of protecting our kids from these monsters, because we are not going to sugarcoat it here, let's empower them. Let them know that you are their friend. And Little Lucy would have had a place to run to, but she did not have it. And let's watch who is around our kids. 
as we check again this unfortunate issue, let's do the right thing also. Uh, and let's check who is, you know, even in the neighborhood. And um, eventually, we're going to make the world a better place and a safer place for both boys and girls. Tomoka, Coffee Africa, thank you for hosting us. Thank you, my amazing crew behind the camera and uh, all the gadgets. Thank you, Fashion Clinic, for dressing me. Thank you, Strands and Curls hair for making my hair so beautiful. Thanks to me for this makeup. <laughs> totally kidding, but yes. Uh, but uh, until next time, do have a lovely night. Take care of yourselves, be safe, and remember it's okay to feel how you feel, and it's good to accept, and acceptance leads to healing. Have a good night.